that there are things nobody dare do them in a mosque. Mandela, you see church, if we were kneeling down, bowing down, kneeling down, bowing down, washing ourselves before we enter church, many people will stop church. Go to them and learn. The Muslim, every day they go to the mosque. Not once a week ago. Every day. And they go. Hi guys, you're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking up. You guys are doing great. My name is Bukumi Bike Kran. So we're going to be checking out the differences between Muslims and Christians by a pastor, Eastwood Annaba. So let's watch. And see the Christians who pretend there's nothing like a church building. Go and stand inside the mosque and say there's nothing like a religious building. Well, like I raise Allah. Mm. I've been the Anyika. You know, there is some kind of nonsense which is spoken only about churches and in church. Mm. That, that, that. Let me tell you, people, there are things nobody dare do them in a mosque. Wow. Mandela. Really? You see, church, uh. if we were kneeling down, bowing down, kneeling down, bowing down, washing ourselves before we enter church many people will stop church mm. what kind of church is this i can't go through all this punishment mm. remove my shoes wash my feet clean myself why they'll tell you something and it's true yes the muslim will do all right and then enter the church They're so humble or the mosque and they are not sitting on a chair mm. i don't know whether these days they started sitting on no chair. they don't have chairs Mat. It's mat. Bag. Kaba zik bag zuk. Balorgo into arenye. They sit on the mask. The 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 mat. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And when they mention the name of Muhammad, they add some sacred words to it. Hmm. When they refer to their imam, it's with maximum respect. Go to them and learn. And remove and quasi them from your brain. Uh, Ghana. Go to them and learn. Hmm. I scarcely see them take a piece of paper and insult their leaders. We are sitting there that we are born again. Born what? You are not even born before you'll be born again. Hmm. Hmm. Spirit I did as on them. The meetings are too many. Hmm. Complaining. The Muslim, every day they go, they go to, to mosque to pray. Not once a week. Oh. Every and day. Every and they go how many day. times? Five times. Five times. Hmm. You say you are going to heaven. Hell cry, you won't qualify to go. Some of you, when you die, that's so. Even hell, God will send you there. You will not exist again. Hmm. Oh, and you see, the meetings are too many. And the prayers are too many. Hmm. And others are praying five times a day. Try. Every day at 12 o'clock, you'll be at the mosque. Every day, businessmen, rich people you with your poverty oh the muslims are the people you see rich man contractor mm. he will pack his car and go and kneel mm. down and bow down with common members common okay. and i don't think they also enter the mosque with their shoes no they don't at all i'm not preaching yes why are you not clapping he's right <laughs> You see, people, we are saved by grace. Mm. But I'm telling you, if confessing Jesus, but living carelessly and foolishness, and foolishly, is what will take people to heaven. But Muslims, in spite of their diligence, we say they'll go to hell. I will say God is not fair. Mm. Why would careless people like us who are not serious? The only thing we did is stand here and say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. 
and that is all we are going to heaven and somebody else who is so diligent mm. and applies themselves to their religion mm. with all committed commitment yeah they would rather die and you say they are Oof. going to hell keep fooling yourself hey. Keep, hey. keep fooling yourself hey mandela you see the way you cross your leg don't change it too but i'm telling you in the mosque you can't do this oh Wallahi. It's true. I'm American. Mm. Wasn't I a Muslim? Wow. Why are you not clapping? Masala Chibaka. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody has released their leg. Now. <laughs> hey. Nice. Am I teaching you anything? Yes, preach and sell. If you want to become a good Christian, eh, one day. Just beg the imam to allow you to go to the mosque for one week. You will change. Hey. No, no, no. Listen. When you go there, eh, one week, just follow a serious Muslim who will put away all their nice dresses mm. and just wear white zalabia. Hmm. Am I teaching you anything? Yes. 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 Just follow. That's them. true. And when Jesus said, In my father's house, there are many in my shop. The house hey. on earth. Jesus said something, he said, Thy will be done on earth. Wow. Guys, I'm so speechless because this man said absolutely the truth. And it's true. Mostly, I don't know what Christianity is turning into, I don't know what we are turning into because we complain too much when it comes to serving god we are not diligent see i explained a lot of things about muslims Some muslims they'll go to mocks they pray five times daily even those who that are not uh, you know able or they are not available to go to mocks to pray anywhere they find themselves they pray whether it's on the road they pray whether it's inside the car they pray they give that Five, I don't know how many minutes they used to pray, but they will pray five times daily. See, he's just trying to preach to Christians out there that thinks that, oh, serving God is this, is stressful. Is that. Christianity, we, we, we take thing, things for granted. We take things too much for granted, and which is absolutely wrong. It's so, so wrong. I just love the way he was being truthful. Either he didn't even mind who is going to be hurt. He's just trying to pass a beautiful message. He said, when Muslims are going to mosque, they wash their feet, they wash their hands, they make sure that they go, you know, clean. They don't wear slippers. They don't cross legs. They don't even have chairs. But in Christianity, there is a lot of comfort. We have a lot of comfort in Christianity. Churches of nowadays no accept any type of dressing they said come as you are when you come to christ as an unbeliever we receive you as you are gone are those days you know then people nowadays it's hard for people to dress the same to church when they go to church they sleep you know i understand but when it's time to serve god that few minutes that few hours use it to concentrate and hear the word of god if you see muslims when they go to monks they don't sleep they go there to pray. They, they, uh, they, they pray with their mats. Some of them sit on the floor. They have a way of posture, a way of sitting on the floor. This, this, this is a video that really touched me a lot. We need to learn. We need to, that's why you see that Muslims are getting better, better, and better each day. Because they don't joke with God. The pastor made one statement and I got, he said, if Muslims, with everything they do, with their diligence, with their hard work, the way they are so devoted and committed to the things of God, why will somebody not say they, they will not make it to heaven? They will surely. Whereas Christians, some Christians, don't even do cut out of what Muslims do. We want to give our life to Christ, we want to do this, even to praise God, problem. To do this, problem. To 
some people will murmur, they will complain. When an usher will tell you, please go and sit down there, you will be you no know, giving all kind of attitude. We need to change. I'm sure this is a church in Ghana because he was speaking some Ghana language and I'm a little bit familiar with that country because I've been there several times. So we need to change. That was a beautiful message to you, to me, to everybody out there. Let's imbibe good things. We can learn from Muslims. Christianity can learn from Muslims. We can as well try to do the five times daily prayer. If you cannot even do five times, at least say a word of prayer to God. No, every day when you're chanced, just talk to God. Talk to God. Make sure that you do the things of God. God created us mostly to serve him. So we should not forget the purpose why we are on earth. God also created us to serve him. So we should do it rightly and just. That was a beautiful one, guys. I was really blessed. Like, I really love this video. Like, ah, hey, everybody needs to hear this video because the man said, everything the man said was 100% correct. No, no, that was a big fact. He said the, the, the absolutely truth. And that was so beautiful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.